Awesome! It's an auger! <laughs> What is going on? Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Um, we are, I just start with um. Quit saying um. We are headed up to Blackberry Ridge. We are all hands on deck at Blackberry Ridge today, except for me. I have had to do my normal job while Marmy and Pappy are up there with the Jays, and they should be building, um, there's them again, they should be building a bunch of raised beds, beds, raised beds, they should be building a bunch of raised beds. So, we're going to go up here, see how far they got today, wouldn't surprise me if everybody's gone by now, uh, it's pretty late in the day, it's almost 5 o'clock. But I wanted to come by and see what they got done. Also, there is a new toy that has arrived at Blackberry Ridge. I want to show you guys that. And lastly, I want to pop the cover off of the transom to the boat and see what we're dealing with. I've got about an hour to accomplish all said, said things. So I'm going to uh, go up here park at the barn we're pulling into the property right now and uh, we'll get started first thing I'll give you uh, a look at uh, kind of what all they got done as far as raised beds goes today well unbelievable they're all still here something must be wrong with this picture let's go inside and see what they got done first and then we'll go outside it's really windy today so uh, the audio I'm just telling you the audio is gonna suck so please don't hang up on me. Please don't switch the channel. Just deal with it. I deal with it sometimes. Just deal with it. Let's roll with the punches at Blackberry Ridge today. I had to get those sunglasses off. I don't know. They were filthy and I was just too lazy to clean them. But uh, I don't know if you saw that on camera. But now that we're inside, I, that's a good excuse to take them off and clean them. But So here's... You now they've got uh, one, some stuff sitting here ready to start. Now keep in mind this morning... We all I did, I delivered a whole buttload, a whole buttload of material last night. Late last night, I got out of here at about six something. I dropped off a whole flatbed trailer worth of uh, material to do these beds from Lowe's. And so nothing was stained, nothing was put together. I just took it off with the, uh, with the skid steer with old pistol and set it down and pulled out of here. So they had to do everything from scratch this morning. So let's look and see what all they got done. They've got some boards done there. Uh, showed you what was in there. Let's go in the back and look at the, uh, the pile I dropped to see how big of a dent they put in that. And then we'll go outside and see how big of a dent they put in those raised beds. <clears throat> okay, well, they didn't put a very big dent in that pile. So I don't know what's going on. I do see some semen over there. They must have done some fencing today, which is a little clue, sorry about that, which is a little clue as to what tool I was gonna show you today. So I guess we're gonna get to that. Before I do that, let me show you uh, our little purchase over this week as well. We got us a, a welding fab table right here in the welding area looks like it's got a little crown in it i don't know what exactly is going on with that thing but uh that is like three quarter inch plate steel that is unbelievably thick um but it looks like it might need some work if you're actually going to try to weld something flat together it looks like it's falling off pretty good i don't know what's going on with that but uh let's go look at the fence <laughs> 
Okay, I'm going to uh, try to make this quick. Actually, everybody's gone now. Whenever I got here, of course, everybody was still here. But uh, I had to come out here and get a shovel in my hands because it doesn't seem like anything really happens unless I do it myself, you know what I mean? Totally kidding, totally kidding. But I did uh, grab a rake and got to talking and let everybody leave before I filmed anymore. So I'm gonna turn the camera around, give you a little garden update real quick and try to get out of this wind because uh, I just have a feeling how this audio is gonna turn out. So let's do that real quick. Um, here you can see we now have in the last raised bed video we had that one, that one, and this one done. And now we have one, two, three, four, five more installed, filled up, put together, ready to rock and roll. And I wanted to show you real quick, my mom was laughing earlier. These three that you saw in the last video, they got rained on this weekend a good amount, so that's good. And it let all this settle down and it's probably dropped if you go back and look at those videos it's probably dropped eight inches to 12 inches and settled out inside these beds this front one is really obvious i mean look at that that is nuts how much that settled out i don't see any washout from underneath so it's just you know those logs and tree limbs and all those things settling down so pretty crazy stuff but i think they look pretty good this is, I believe, all of the, uh, by now you've seen our um, raised bed kind of overview. If you haven't, go back and watch that video. It's in the, it's in the last uh, boulder wall video. But um, you've seen our overview, so I believe this finishes off all the 4x16s. We're moving on to the 8x8 beds. Those are coming up in the next... Uh, We'll probably have the majority of those built hopefully by the end of the day tomorrow or at least if nothing else by the end of the weekend there's probably some good wind for you i'm going to use myself as a block um so we'll have some of those beds built by the end of the weekend be excited to show you those get set up and what those are going to look like out here but i don't know if you've noticed in the background of what i've sent so far as to what they've done i've kind of kept quiet about this up till now but I'm going to show it to you and it ties into the tool like I was talking about earlier that I wanted to show you guys. So real quick, I'm going to do another video on this maybe tomorrow um, of us uh, filling these up and put, starting to put some of it together and what we need to do for it. But kabam, we have our first wall of garden fencing going in. Um, the posts are set and uh, now we just need to pour concrete in them tomorrow the holes got dug by a really cool piece of machinery that uh, I'm gonna incorporate in the next video so be looking for that I've decided I'm not gonna do it today I might show it to you today but I'm gonna show you it in action in the next video for sure so if you can look down this fence row right here you can tell i really need to be involved in this i mean that fence is walking all over the place um i can't believe that's the quality of work we did here at plum uh, plum legacy at blackberry ridge kidding again they're not cemented in yet so we're going to cement those in tomorrow be ready for that video we'll title it like fence episode one <laughs> do you guys like these series that i'm doing or no um I think they're getting a decent amount of views, but these garden videos aren't getting a crazy amount of views. But let me know in the comments if you like uh, kind of how I've been doing it, dropping it in a series of three to four videos versus saving it all up for one video and making it really long. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below about that. Or if these series of videos is just way more detailed than you care to know. And uh, I just need to move on and make a single video of it and chop it up real just generic and going down the road but anyways that's what they got done today out here i showed you what they got done today inside there they did some more clearing work they did some chainsaw and as you can see over there we're out of compost so i've got to find a new dealer uh, i gotta find a new supplier so we'll work on that over the weekend too and then i'm gonna go give you just a sneak peek at the new tool Didn't. Didn't. 
Awesome! It's an auger for the skid steer of the tractor. We're gonna be using the fire out of that thing. We have so many projects for that thing. It's gonna get a workout. Um, so I'm excited to use that. And you saw the two different auger sizes there. I think there's a third one hanging out here somewhere. I think there's a third auger size. So anyways, that's gonna be it. We'll show you that in action in the next video. So now let's move on to what everybody wants to see, which is my boat, the boat. Let's go on to the boat. We are today we are going to take the cap off of the cover of the transom and look down in it for the first time and see what kind of mess I've actually gotten myself into. Okay, well, unfortunately, or fortunately, however you want to look at it, the um, the way the boat was designed is, is this fiberglass is wrapping up and over the transom, and then you had that top cap on there um, that was then even further uh, helpful, which I think I'm going to have to hang on to this. And maybe just make a new top cap because it's in pretty bad shape. Out of the Sorry about that. But anyways, the truth shall set you free. And the truth is that this is 100% without a doubt a transom rebuild. I mean, it is just absolutely disintegrating. So, since this cap is here, it's going to be probably more trouble than it's worth to try to go in from the top. So what I think I'm going to have to do is, luckily it's pretty much just, we'll get into it and see, but it's just from here to here, I think, and we don't have to worry about going back there most likely. But step one, for sure, will be to come down here and come about an inch up from the bottom of this, maybe half an inch, and cut it all the way across. Come in from this side where it starts to go back, probably another half inch or so, draw a line and cut it. And same thing over here and let this fiberglass piece just come off and then see what we've got but all of this is just gone right here so that'll be interesting a uh, real quick boat update for you let me get out of the wind um i ended up tracking down the original owner to this boat and uh, I ended up talking to him on the phone. Original owner is a very loose term and an incorrect one. Not original owner, original Oklahoma owner. He bought the boat for the motor that was on it, knowing that the transom was bad. And uh, anyways, we ended up uh, connecting. He's gonna sign a bill of sale for me so that I can transfer the title owner over to be in my name. And then from there, I'll feel good about uh, proceeding on the boat with uh, doing any kind of fixes that we want to do. But I wanted to make sure that that all got ironed out before I went down this road. So assuming I get that all ironed out, we are going to go down this road. And it looks like it's going to be a transom repair. Everybody I'm sure that knows anything about boats is cringing right now. But I'm going to do it myself. And I'm going to do it. And I'm not going to pay for it to be done. And I think I found a method after doing a lot of research on it. And I think I can get it done, assuming I do a lot of it myself. 
for less than $500 to completely repair the transom and put it back. Aesthetically, that may not be pretty, but I don't care if it's pretty or not because we have some other options as far as making things pretty uh, on that entire boat. So I think for less than $500, I'm going to be able to make this repair, which makes my total investment $600 in the boat up to date. And uh, I don't think I could find another boat with a repaired transom for 600 bucks. So I still think I'm doing good there. But rambling once again, that's going to be it for this. You've seen a nice little update. And the next video, you're going to see us uh, knocking out some more garden stuff, fencing, beds, filling beds, clearing trees, all that good stuff that needs to be done for the garden. So until next time, we will see you up on the ridge.